Good morning and welcome to the Chart of a Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 20th of December 2019 and the time has just gone 9.14 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the Australian dollar versus the US dollar or Aussie dollar as is referred to in the markets. Um, we can see here from the wider term view throughout the year, Aussie dollar has been in a, in a solid downward trend. But we can see that whenever the market um, dropped below 0 0.67, uh, that was low as 0 0.6671, this entire zone here acted as fairly decent support. Um, it, it, the market really, can, uh, really kind of struggled to kind of make a sizable break below this area. And if this area does turn out to be a fairly, de fairly decent area of support, and the market is actually kind of in the process of turning around. Notice how we have been broadly been pushing higher since early October. Now, granted, the highs that we saw in early November and um, mid-December mid are in around the same area, so we kind of failed to kind of break higher highs, but we have seen uh, higher lows, and the market is pushing up higher along here. So we could be at a, at a fairly important, potentially important point on the Aussie dollar. It could be at the point where the market's finally turning around. We found a base here. Couldn't, it couldn't drive any lower, and then we're slowly starting to see the market drive push higher. So we could be coming up to a fairly significant zone uh, in the near term. Uh, should we break above that zone, we could then be looking potentially uh, at recouping some of the, the losses that were endured throughout 2019. So if you take a look at this price action here, this zone here, this red line is the 30 moving average. That comes into play in, in around 0 0.6905. We can see in a few occasions throughout the year, um, notably just north of here, here, and here. There, thereabouts, the, the 30 moving average acts as a fairly decent resistance on a number of occasions. And if a metric has acted as a very decent resistance in the, in the past, it makes it more likely it'll be res act as resistance, resistance in the future, although there are no guarantees. It is worth obviously remembering that uh, in the middle of the month, the, uh, the, the, the market did manage to pierce above that metric, but did not but actually close well below that line again. So. And if you draw a line, kind of broadly speaking, on the highs of early December, on the highs of early of November, you get this zone here, which comes into play in around 0 spot 69.18, there thereabouts. So that entire kind of area uh, of around, kind of say, between 0 spot 69.15 and 0 spot 69.29, um, there thereabouts, that area could potentially, the kind of 30, 35, 5, um, 30 kind of pip, uh, pip, pip range, could be a fairly significant area. So if we do have a size of break above that, that could that could put us on course for a fairly, a fairly decent move to the upside. Uh, this formation that we're seeing here has the possibility uh, of, of uh, being a tri triangle formation, but as obviously the key point is, it would need to have a, have a decent break above this top line here in around zero spot 69.29. Now, when it comes to um, when it comes to kind of obtaining price targets from triangles, if it is actually a triangle, what you do is if you measure the base of it. So if you look at the lows here uh, between 0 spot 66.71, and this is called the highest here, 0 spot 69.29, that is a gap of 258 pips. So if this is, is a triangle and we do have a fairly size of break above this line here, we can then project that upwards, that 258 point gap upwards, uh, to potentially to seek out a potential profit um, a target to the upside, uh, and uh, if that is the case, we could be looking at target, targeting 71.87. Uh, should we actually have a fairly decent move to the upside? So that week, obviously, you know, a target potentially months down the line, seeing as it's taken obviously months for this kind of uh, bottom bottom to form, and it's been taken months for it to push higher. So it could be you know months from now, uh, three months, six months, months from now, we could be looking up heading up towards the kind of 71 uh, 87 regions there thereabouts obviously in the near term the kind of big psychological number is 70 will that, will that be passed first and foremost now if you are going to be trading the australian dollar us dollar it is worth keeping an eye what's going on on the dollar index as a whole so this here is a chart of the dollar index throughout 2019 we can see here that i had a very good run um, for, for the bulk of the year but really since october onwards We've had a lower low, a lower high, and another lower low. So if, we, if the dollar index uh, manages to take off the lows of early December, or sorry, mid-December, that could be a fairly significant sign that we're actually going to have to see a broader sell-off across the US dollar as a whole. And if that is the case, that would kind of tie in nicely with the view that they were seeing an upward move in the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. 
Um, la uh, lastly, if you are going to be trading the Australian dollar, US dollar today, uh, please keep an eye out for um, we have a couple of important economic reports from the US. At 13.30 GMT, we have US um, GDP. We also have US core um, PCE reading. Um, just to let you know, this is going to be my last video of 2019. Um, so I wish you a happy Christmas and a happy new year. And I'll be back in 2020. Thank you.